The Daylight Video Projector Interface, or VPI for short, allows a daylight single motor electric screen to be controlled using the trigger output of a video projector or any device with a 12 or 5 volt output. The VPI package includes the control module and a three button wall switch with cover plate. The VPI housing is divided into three compartments. The compartment labeled low voltage connections is where you will connect the VPI to the projector's output and where you will find the wall switch wire connections. The compartment labeled AC power connections is where the main power and motor wire connections are made. Access is not required to the center compartment. To prevent electrical shock or damage to the VPI, do not apply power until all connections are complete. Any item being connected to the VPI cannot be energized. Use two conductor 20 to 24 gauge wire to extend the low voltage connection from the projector's 5 or 12 volt screen trigger output to the length required to reach the VPI. When extending the low voltage connection from the projector's screen trigger output, be sure to maintain the proper polarity. The red wire from the VPI is the signal, and the black wire from the VPI is the ground. Connect the wires from the VPI that are labeled low voltage connection to the end of the extended screen trigger wires above. When connecting the supplied low voltage wall switch, use three conductor 20 to 24 gauge wire to extend the switch to the required length. Connect the wire from the switch to the wire labeled wall switch. Never apply voltage to the wall switch lead or the VPI will be damaged. Connect the motor wires in the screen junction box to the VPI wires labeled motor wires. Use 14 to 18 gauge wire to extend the motor wire to the required length. Connect the power wires to the VPI wires labeled AC power input. Connect the building ground wire to the ground lug on the metal housing.